It's been a while. <laughs> We're still holding up. All right, guys, welcome back to the fort. I'm here by myself. We're going to do some renovations, get ready for winter, and cook up some good supper. I haven't been back here since Jim and Ted were here, the old Baird boys, and we did the natural smoker. So let's get rid of this tripod. I do want to build a ceiling to keep the snow out of the, for, for the winter, or a roof, I guess. Um, yeah, let's get this out of here. Oh, man. She was like cemented into the ground from being here for different from different seasons. Huh. This is gonna be a, a tall order to get this out of here, huh? Huh? A tall I said a tall order. Because this is so very tall. Okay. In all honesty, I'm probably gonna use those for part of my ceiling and I'll probably take out this wall and use that for my ceiling too because it's more imperative that I get a ceiling up to block my whole area from snow so that it'll stay kind of level. I was going to say it looks like the tarp held up but there seems to be a seam here where it's splitting, a seam on the tarp. See what I mean right there? Well she's still structurally sound. That's a good thing, hey? Oh yeah, it went all the way through. Son of a gun. Well, that's a weird spot to have a seam on a tarp. Okay, some duct tape will fix that. I'm not putting the new tarp on here, out of principle. Yeah, we'll get some duct tape on there and call it good. Have to bring some next time. Ah, we got the tripper's bowl here too. The poor little guy. If you guys didn't hear what happened to him, go check out the video. Uh, something bad or something's wrong or bad news or something like that uh, and I'll explain all about why Tripper's not here. So before the snow gets here it'd be nice to clear off the ground all around in my shelter and sorry in my fort and around getting to it because there is all sorts of deadfall that usually is either overgrown with stuff in the summer or covered with stuff with snow in the winter time. Right now is a perfect time of year where it's all visible and easily accessible. So I'm gonna try and clean up this fort area as good as I can. Snow is not far away, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's pretty good, guys. If this is pooling water still, you know, the tarp's been up here for two years now. Two years, guys. I'm not exaggerating. So, it's kept its tautness. The only problem is that one seam. Even if it was, were to just get little, little pinholes in it here and there, it wouldn't be an issue, but the seam is probably an issue. Holy mice. Oh my goodness. The thing I left here is like mouse nibbled like crazy. That sheath is completely <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> what else? See all the dust here, but I think that might be from ants. Look at all the dust. Look at all the dust. That's gotta be from ants. Fire starter. Oh no. There's some mouse droppings in there for sure. Droppings? Droppings? Oh yeah, and then look, the foam. The foam that I left out here to leave for a pad, it's all chewed up. That can go. I can get rid of this. I have no problem getting rid of that. <laughs> Check this out. Sorry, I gotta show you this. It's quite funny. <laughs> so I just took that shovel and that little dish off of the uh, foam here. Look. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of mildew. Wonder if we can spook out any mice. Another bowl for Tripper here. Uh oh, 
construction phase. No, none that I see. And another tarp under there too. All right, well, we'll use our grill today. There's a lens cap here. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Everything's coming up, Joe. All right, this water is just pooling here for some reason. Go into the earth water. Got these new gloves. Revolution Race sent me a bunch more gear, new, new pants. Some new gloves, so thanks guys. Big shout out to Revolution Race. Awesome outdoor gear, clothing. I highly suggest them. They're a Swedish brand. Check them out, Revolution Race. All right, pretty cool gloves too. So we'll lay, the, we'll lay these up here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, if you remember from last year, there is a slight angle going down towards that corner there. So it's not gonna be a flat roof. It's gonna be pretty flat, but it's not gonna be flat as the day is long. And we should probably alternate some of these. No, we want it to go that way. So if I put all the small sides on that side that's already going down, we'll get even more of an angle going down there. Uh -oh. We'll have to go up there and cut them or measure them, bring them down and cut them. Is this even long enough? Close. Ah! Logs on, logs on, logs. There we go. Okay, lots more to put up there. Not hating that. Not hating that one bit, boys and girls. Slick slick from this angle you can really see the gaps and what needs to be fixed i really just threw them up here uh and now i'm gonna take time and, and get them properly this guy here needs to go it's just like a wampus what we wanted throwing everything else off so if that goes everything can kind of just get pushed closer closer to the that side yeah and then i've got a trim because that's impeding other ones from coming over. I've been really enjoying my time outside this fall. Doing a couple of different things that I'm used to, at least for the season. Nice and tight. Tight like a tiger. Let's go up there and see how strong it is. 
I bet you I can dance a jig up there no problem. We'll start to get some of the bark, put them in the exact spots we need because the whole roof isn't going to be covered, right? There will be spaces for smoke to escape, for rain to get through, for snow to get through, but for the majority of the, of the thing, we're not going to have the amount of snow that has fallen out here over the course of a winter, which could be 10 feet inside the shelter. We'll have drifts and we'll have blow through and we'll have come through and stuff, but not just dumped on like it is out here. No worries. You guys want to come up here with me? You guys want to come up here with me? <laughs> we built a roof. We still have some to go. You know what I mean? But this is solid. This is freaking 80% of the work done. Okay. Let's get you guys up here with me. Well, what do you guys think? Pretty awesome, right? Can you see it? Can you see it? I noticed there's still some super tanniny water in the top of my tarp. Tanniny water in the tarp. The tarp has tanniny water. Tannins from the leaves. We'll get that out. Man, I'm super impressed with this place, guys. So look, from there, to there with solid logs and we only have to there to the end and I don't even know if it's necessary to fill it all the way this tarp might do the trick for the for that part so even if I just get five more or so regardless that is something for another day because we're gonna get that bark out those sheets of bark from the bear the bear bark and uh, and start laying it up here and see what it looks like you can see it from up here. Ted hid it underneath all those logs there kept to keep it wet for the, the summer. Yeah, you can tell Ted put these logs on here. Holy smokes, I can barely lift them. <laughs> The Bear Boys! <laughs> Good guys. Okay, one would have sufficed. One would have sufficed, Ted. Look at that. Sheets. Not even that fragile, really. So we'll start with the big ones, obviously. That's a good one there, okay. We'll carry this over carefully. They're not even curled at all anymore, remember? Oh, ho, oh, oh. mice house, mouse house. Remember before, if you watched the original video, they were all curled because from around the tree, but this did the job, Ted. Ah, okay, so they are a bit, a bit weak underneath. And slimy, and salamandery. be delicate it's actually quite uh, a lot of decay like sludgy sludgy decay I'm glad I got some gloves on I want my hands to get dirty all right oh I remember this one with the little crease in it little slice in it come on big guy come on okay that's a decent one. Oh wow Oh yeah, she gonna split. She gonna split. Oh man, seems impossible. Seems impossible. Oh no. Sorry, Ted. <laughs> we still get shingles though. 
I'm still getting shingles. That one just mushed apart. Oh, it rubbed all over. Look at it. Look how nasty it is. <laughs> I am just covered in this brown sludge stuff. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> all right, let's get this bad boy up here. Hang on. Just hang on. Thank you. More? Wow, that's a good one. Or it was. This is so nasty stuff. It's gonna drip all on me for the first little bit too. Okay, I got that far, pretty good, about three quarters of it. But I am gonna have to use the rest of that bark to finish off this little bit here, at least two of those three pieces. It's perfect. I, I have no qualms about it holding the weight of the snow all year, potentially 10 feet if that's what we get, but I can certainly come up here and knock the snow off or have a fire underneath and melt it all off uh, underneath me potentially, but we'll see, man. I'm not scared of it, you know what I mean? We'll see how it goes and where it drips and what happens and what improvements we need to make to, to fix it up. The goal is to get this roof done before snow accumulates. Not before the snow flies, that's going to happen any day now, but before it starts to pile up. Um, yeah, and then we'll have a nice solid fort. We can camp out here, hang out here, and be out of the most of the elements. Well, I managed to find one rock for my fire pit that I fire pit that I want to build, a decent sized one, and I had to walk quite a ways to get it. But uh, I think that fire pit is going to be an ongoing process because there's not a lot. Doesn't seem to be like a lot in these woods. I imagine it got cleared out at one point but uh whoo that took a lot out of me I need to drink water <sighs> been hungry I've got a good supper to cook out here show you guys what I got here. Whew. Working up a, some warmth. My wife made me this alpaca wool uh, toque. Thank you, sweetheart. I like it. It's very warm and it's brown and it fits me tight. <laughs> uh, pushes my hair down, you know. I like it. I got my Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck with me. Shout out Malcolm at the Hidden Woodsman. Good buddy. Grasspores forest axe? Nope. Outdoor axe. Good for uh, fine working. I got my big axe too, but I like to have that one. I can just put it on my belt like a knife. So I got this new skillet, this new cast iron skillet. This company, uh, I'll tell you in a minute. The name of it, Field something, I believe. Field company. <laughs> Field company, made in USA. This is size 8 of their cast iron skillets. It's a new style. I've never seen any really like it. It just uh, has a different color to it. It's more gray. But I'm going to do up a stir fry in my little uh, frying pan here. I have olive oil. I've got a plate. I had it on there like a lid. i got olive oil. I've got a little bit of an onion. Some red pepper and some celery. I've got six small red potatoes. I have some Lowry's seasoning, some garlic, and two sausages. So this is the, the frying pan. I oiled it up today. So we're going to get a fire going, oil this up, do the potatoes, garlic and onion f slow for a while, and then we'll throw in the rest of it after. And it should be a delicious meal, and it's not a steak for once. 
Look at that. But I like it. I like this, this frying pan. Don't get me wrong, I've not used it yet or anything. I just like the size of it. It's in between sizes. The size 8 is pretty deep. And uh, it looks new, newfangled. It's not so porous, it seems. But I, I don't really know much about it. Anyways, Field Company. Check them out. One more thing before I get back to work here. I want to give you guys a chance to win a pair of hiking boots in a giveaway. So these are the Hikes brand Scouts, and this is Gen 2. I've been wearing the Gen 1s, the Model 1s, for a year plus. And you see me in my video wearing them quite a bit. Uh, they have Vibram soles, or the whole 9 yards are a great boot. They're very sturdy, very uh, durable boot, very high top, very high top. Anyways, I like them a lot. There's no catch at all. You don't have to do anything except for go to my Instagram, Joe Robin at Bushcraft. Look for the picture of the boots that I'll have posted very recently and just say I'm in. If you don't have Instagram, I'm sorry, but uh, make one if you want to be entered into it. This is the best way for me to do it, to keep track of it, and then to be able to actually contact the person because through replies, it's almost impossible on YouTube in, in the comments. So, yeah. Hikes, H-A-I-X, and these are the model Scout, you might be 2.0, yep, Scout 2.0, says it right on there, and uh, again, I have been wearing them around the house doing work, on actual trips doing work, I wore them on my five day thing, uh, that I just came back from solo trip, so yeah man, great boots, nothing bad to say about them, very, very durable, and uh, I like the looks of them and everything, so yeah, they will send, Hikes will send you guys, the winner, uh, a pair of boots, so, should enter. No sense in forcing it just yet. Going on this side. There we go. That's a big old cherry round. Ooh, I thought that was spruce. That's cherry that I cut off that front tree. That aged magnificently. Okay, a little little damp, but we can throw it on after and uh, get real nice coals. We should actually save pieces. Okay, those two, other two are cherry too. I'll save those pieces for when I have a steak out here. That way we can do a, uh, yeah, cherry wood cooked steak. Maybe I'll bring Will out here, my wife out here, and do that. That sounds like a good idea on cherry wood. We can even smoke the steaks a bit because because the wood's a little bit wet. Bam, sun. Everything's coming up. Robinette. Bye bye. All right. Get some starter wood. This is all just cut off so that I've had under that. Uh, in the fort for, for like two years. Nice to be able to use them. I got a little menage of uh, tinders. I got some yellow birch with some dead ferns and a whole mix of little shaving clumps, shavings from balsam fir. So I'm sure that that will all together will take a spark pretty easily and then I've got some dry kindling to go on and so on and so forth Birch head to light. Uh, 
I'm going to have to leave. Granted, that is smoky. Smoky as the day is long. I am going to have to leave a gap for smoke to escape for sure. All right, let's look at it now where it's not just smoke. It's an actual fire. It doesn't look so bad at all. Who knows when it's wet or heavy air or snowing or whatever the case may be. I do feel like I need to have some kind of gap in the ceiling for smoke to escape, even if it's a small one. So we'll have to figure that out too. But uh, yeah, no big deal. It's all about the technique and getting the blue s oh, brown sludge down your back. Back sludge. Best kind. Oh, I dripped on my face. Blech. Okay, just take, just take this out of here, thank you. Bam, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Okay, cool. Complete coverage. Complete coverage for what I have done so far. And my idea about the smoke escape is to tie two logs going this way, boom, boom, to that ridge pole, tie them there, and then end one there, end one there with a hole in the middle for any kind of escape if need be. Oh, that fire looks slick. Cherry wood. I wanna adjust this and start putting my frying pan on. I can use this um, cherry wood that's not wanting to burn too good. To, put, to place it right on. There we go. Get my filthy, filthy gloves off. All right, so what we're gonna do first, put some oil in this, get it on the fire. Get the dirt out maybe a little bit first. Oh, oily dirts. Cool. Get this on the fire. I'll cut up the potatoes. There we go. Pretty straight. Alright, we're getting there. Potatoes are pretty much soft now. Yeah, we're getting there at least. Uh, on the softer side. So we're gonna throw in some color. Got some red peppers and some celery in there. All right, I've already got one with sausages in there. Here's the second one cut up. This is going to be very hearty and very good. It wasn't hard to make, it didn't take long. This cast iron pan helped quite a bit. So did the fire and the spatula. I'm just gonna put the spice on. This is that Lowry's seasoning. And I will stir it in and then let it sit for a couple more minutes. I'm gonna eat. Ooh, toasty. Oh man, it smells good, the celery. I can smell the celery over a lot of it. Looking forward to the potatoes and the onions and the garlic the most. But I do like the meat and the veggies in there too. Look at that, look at that. Okay, that's most of it. Yeast. Oh no! Resistance. 
how to fork. There we go. Alright guys, let's try this. The taste all complements itself. Let's try a potato, see. Mm, no, honestly, that one could have been a little bit more, but it's not at the point where like you're eating hard potatoes or it's like crunching through at all. Like I hate that. This isn't that. That potato's fine. The first one was a wedge, wedge shape. Oh man, this is great. The celery really does add to it. It's a little bit crunchy still. Let's try the red, red pepper with it. Oh yeah, yes. Mmm. I could even see mushrooms going in this with the red pepper. It's freaking good, man. Oh my goodness. Woo! I'm not playing this up. This is super good. I'd like to share this with someone. There's a lot. Okay, let's recap some things from today. If you like the clothes I'm wearing and the gloves and the clothes I've been wearing, I'm really happy with them. Revolution Race on Instagram at Revolution Race, revolutionrace.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, the skillet is called Field Company. You can check those guys out. The backpack is Hidden Woodsman. Check him out. Oh, the giveaway for the boots. Go to my Instagram. Look for a picture of the boots. Just write I'm in in the comments. That's all. On the boot picture. And then maybe about a week or two I'll pick a, a winner. And then they'll ship you guys the boots. What else? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, for this um, stir fry, we had sausages last, last night, like grill them. It's like not expensive sausages by any means, pre-cooked. Then we cooked them last night, and these were the leftovers from that. I had small red skin potatoes, had a, like a half a stick of celery, a quarter of a red pepper, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, Spice, everything nice, very easy. I had fun out here. I'm glad I came out to the fort. I miss Tripper. I really do. It's a bummer what happened to him. I'm gonna miss him out here the whole season, but it is what it is, and we'll get him better. But uh, I love that little dog now. Oh hellion. I'm glad it came out. I'll keep coming back. Maybe I'll bring some friends over. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm going to enjoy this. Hang out by the fire for a while. Just hang out. We'll see you soon. Either back at the fort here or on another adventure. Cheers, folks.